So using my personal address for my business, because you know, hey, listen, I'm like most business owners out there. I do everything from home, right? Yeah. So course. that can stop me from getting approved. Using my personal cell phone number can stop me from getting approved for loans. That that's nuts. I, I had no idea. It can, it can. Actually, especially when you go for loans and when you go for like government grants and loans, like SBA loans, that's a big no no. A lot of companies. I'll tell you what's a big no because I tried it in the past and I'll tell you that I got in disqualified now. Now tweak the system around and learn how to actually overcome it and I made it work. So that's one of those things. You may be able to actually work with some of the credit cards, depending on if you have a great relationship with the bank. So if you have a great relationship with some of the banks that you have created already, for example, I when I first started in one of my businesses, I would, had a great relationship with American Express. And I was a 17 year uh, member with them with my personal cards. So when I came to my business, I gave him, not knowing, I gave him my home address. And this still approved me, so I knew now that, hey, they have their relationship and starting what they do and how they do, that's why they go by. They, they go by the relationship that you create with them and not specific about a lot of other um, um, compliance items. But at the end of the day, it's better to have it because if you start applying for loans as a business and you can start getting disqualified, this is an indicative that older banks will disqualify you just because of that prior disqualification. Huh. Okay, okay.